Meghan Markle and Prince Harry shared another image featuring their newborn son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor on Sunday. Why did they choose to obscure his face? Meghan Markle gave birth to baby Archie Harrison on May 6. Since then, the couple shared his first image in a photo call in Windsor two days after his birth and have shared images of the infant on social media for special occasions. On Sunday June 16, Prince Harry celebrated his first Father's Day, sharing an unseen image of him holding his son. But royal fans were surprised to find that baby Archie's full face had once again been obscured from view. Now, parenting expert Victoria Jennings, founder of Bloom Baby Classes, has shared why she thinks the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have chosen to do so. The adorable snap of Archie Harrison was a sepia-toned image showing the baby's eyes, fingers and part of his nose. But otherwise, the rest of his face and body was obscured by Prince Harry's hand. But while most of the nation admired the little bouncing baby in the photo, trying to determine whether he has inherited his father's red hair or blue eyes, it became apparent this image was not quite as gratifying as royal fans everywhere had hoped. Now, parenting expert Victoria Jennings, founder of Bloom Baby Classes, has shared why she thinks the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have chosen to do so. The adorable snap of Archie Harrison was a sepia-toned image showing the baby's eyes, fingers and part of his nose. But otherwise, the rest of his face and body was obscured by Prince Harry's hand. But while most of the nation admired the little bouncing baby in the photo, trying to determine whether he has inherited his father's red hair or blue eyes, it became apparent this image was not quite as gratifying as royal fans everywhere had hoped. So why exactly have the new parents chosen to restrict the public's full view of their son? Victoria Jennings said, The Duke and Duchess are clearly proud parents and will likely be spending these first months as new parents getting to know their new baby. All parents have the right to request some anonymity for their child if they so wish and spend the first part of their baby's life bonding and learning more about them. It is always a parent's choice as to how many images they share. For me, I made the decision early on that I was happy for images of my children to appear on social media, mainly for family members and friends who lived far afield to keep up with them growing and partly as a proud parent. It is very much at the discretion of all parents though and I completely understand why parents would choose not to. One could argue that all children should be allowed anonymity and should Meghan and Harry prefer to keep baby Archie out of the spotlight then their wishes should be respected. At the end of the day, there is no right or wrong in parenting and no one should be judged for wanting the best for their child. So it appears that the protective parenting instinct is determining how much access the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will provide the public to baby Archie. The couple have kept extremely tight control over their son's public profile in all aspects of his life so far, only sharing new mom Meghan was in labor after baby Archie hadn't been born. Furthermore, baby Archie was hidden from view for two days, which contrasts the royal tradition of the Cambridge family whereby Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, has first unveiled her new babies to the world just hours after their births on the steps of the Lindo Wing. Instead, it appears the royal couple are enjoying the private moments with their son. Miss Jennings said, Archie is still a tiny baby and the family is getting used to being in a new routine, it is up to Meghan and Harry how much they choose to reveal of their son and they should only do things they feel comfortable with. In the meantime, they will be getting used to having Archie around, and these first few weeks are incredibly precious so we'll want to be spending as much time getting to know him as possible. Miss Jennings added the differences between royal mums Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton differences could be down to their different interests. She said, both Meghan and Kate are clearly devoted, loving mums and it's great to see the bond they have with their children. Kate's love of photography has also played an active part in the images shared of her children as her hobby of capturing those precious moments clearly shows and being the mom behind the camera allows her to capture those moments so naturally. In fact, it is a trait that is shared by many modern celebrities, such as Sir Elton John, Tom Daly and Holly Willoughby, all of whom have shared images featuring their child with facing away from the camera, with their face obscured or hidden in some other way. This way, the sentiment is endowed whilst protecting the child's anonymity from the public.